Solve the inequality for x belongs to r. At this moment, I encourage you to pause the video and solve it by yourself. Ok, I will solve it now. So first I will find the domain. x is the base, so it has to be positive. And x cannot be equal 1 because of this term. Then also 2x is more than 0, so x is more than 0 and 2x is not equal 1, so x is not equal to 1 half because of this term. And also 4x more than 0 is more than 0, so x is positive and 4x is also not equal to 1, so x is not equal to 1 fourth. Combining all of those properties, then domain will be x is more than 0, x is not equal to 1 fourth, x, equal, x is not equal to 1 half, and also x is not equal to 1. So I can write it, for example, like that x belongs to real positive numbers except one fourth, one half and one. That's my domain. Then solving this inequality now first I will change the basis of logarithms I will use the change of the basis logarithmic law. Then I will have log with base 2 of 2 divided by log with base 2 of x times log with base 2 of 2 divided by log with base 2 of 2x. This is more than log with base 2 of 2 divided by log with base 2 of 4x and this is squared. Then log with base 2 of 2 is just 1 so this will be 1 divided by log to base 2 of x similarly 1 and at this moment log of base 2 of 2x I will use the product rule for logarithms and I will write it quickly as log with base 2 of 2 plus log with base 2 of x similarly numerator will be 1 and again I will use products law for logarithms in denominator and this will be log with base 2 of 4 plus log with base 2 of x and this needs to be squared. Then log with base 2 of 2 is just 1 in denominator and I'll write denominator as log with base 2 of x plus 1. On the right side numerator 1 squared is just 1 and denominator I will write as log with base 2 of x and log with base 2 of 4 is just plus 2 and denominator still needs to be squared. Next step, I will make substitution log with base 2 of x. It will be my t. Then my inequality becomes 1 divided by t times 1 divided by t plus 1 and this needs to be more than 1 divided 
by t plus 2 squared. To solve this inequality, t in the denominator could be negative or positive. If I multiply by negative, I would have to change the inequality sign. That's why I will multiply both sides by positive t squared. I will also multiply by positive, positive value t plus 1 squared. I don't want only t plus 1. I will multiply both sides by, by t plus 1 squared and I will also quickly multiply both sides of inequality by t plus 2 squared. Then I will get t plus 2 squared on the left side times just t times just t plus 1. And this will be more than t squared times t plus 1 squared. Then I can write it as t plus 2 squared is quickly t squared plus 4t plus 4. And I can just write t times t plus 1 slowly and this will be more than I can just copy this t squared t plus 1 squared then I can write this inequality t squared plus 4t plus 4 I will multiply those two brackets I will just multiply those two expressions, t times t plus 1. Then I will get t squared plus t. I will move everything from the right side of inequality to the left side, so this will be minus t squared slowly t plus 1 squared, and this will be more than 0. Then slowly I will have next step. I will copy this one more time for t plus 4 times t squared plus t minus t squared times t squared plus 2t plus 1 and this has to be more than 0. Then I will multiply brackets t squared times t squared will be t to power of 4 plus t to power of 3 just this times this, this times this then those two and then those two again so I will have plus 40 cubed plus 40 squared plus Again, 40 squared plus 40 minus. Similarly, I will multiply those terms. I need to distribute. So the minus t to power of 4 minus 2t cubed and minus t squared. And this has to be more than 0. When I simplify those terms, t to power of 4 minus t to power of 4 here, this, this is 0. Those two terms, then t cubed is t cubed plus 4t cubed is 5t cubed minus 2t two two cubed. So it's 5 minus 2 will be 3t to the power of 3. Then t squared will be 4 plus 4 is 8 minus 1 is 7 so plus 7 t squared and then I have extra term plus 4 t and this has to be more than 0 I can see I can factorize t in front of bracket 
So t times 3t squared plus 7t plus 4. And this has to be more than 0. Solving polynomial inequality, first really I need to solve equation. So I will solve equation first. This is equal 0. So I multiply two things. t must be equal 0 or 3t squared plus 7t plus 4 must be equal 0. I have one solution of the equation. Then quadratic equation with a equal 3 b equals 7 and c equals 4. I can try to solve it by factorizing, so a times c will be 12, and I will be looking for two numbers, something times something, to get ac, so to get 12, and something plus something to get b, so 7. This is my b. So those two numbers will be just 3 and 4. 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 plus 4 is 7. So to factorize that quadratic, I can continue 3t squared plus 3t plus 4t. That is my 70. 3 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. In the first two terms I can put 3t in front of bracket, 3t times t plus 1. In the second two terms I can put 4 in front of bracket. So in bracket will be t plus 1. And this is equal 0. I have t plus 1 in two terms, so I can put it in front of bracket. So this will be t plus 1 times 3t plus Four, and this is equal to 0. Now, when I want to solve this equation, I multiply two things and I get 0. So, first bracket is 0. So, t plus 1 is 0. Or, 3t plus 4 is equal to 0. So, t is equal to negative 1 or 3t is equal to negative 4, so t is equal to negative 4 thirds. Then really I solved the equation with t, but I wanted to solve really inequality with t. I wanted to solve this inequality, or even this inequality with leading coefficient positive 3. Leading coefficient positive 3, so I can Let's quickly sketch that graph. I have roots minus 4 thirds here, minus 1 here, and I also had another root t equals 0 here. Cubic equation, I have three different real roots. This is 0. Leading coefficient was positive. That's why when I sketch this graph, I will start sketching from when x is big, I will sketch it. When t is big, I will sketch it from the top. Cross. So the graph will look close to something like that. So here will be positive, and here will be positive. Here will be negative for those t, and here will value will be negative as well. Our inequality, my inequality was t was here, was more than zero. That's why the answer for that inequality will be minus four thirds is less than t is less than negative one here, or t is more than zero here. So I solved the inequality for t. Now what was t? t was log with base 2 of x. So 
this has to be less than negative 1 and more than negative 4 thirds. I will first solve those two inequalities and later this one. So then log with base 2 of x is more than minus 4 thirds and log with base 2 of x is less than negative 1. So solving the left inequality log with base 2 of x is more than a log with base 2 of 2 to the power of minus 4 thirds. Continuing this inequality log with base 2 of x is more than log with base 2 2 to power of negative 4 thirds I can write 1 over 2 to power of positive 4 thirds properties of exponents then log with base 2 of x is more than log with base 2 1 divided 4 thirds is just 2 to power of 1 slowly times 2 to power of 1 third. I can write it like that. So log with base 2 of x is more than log with base 2 of 1 divided by 2 cube root of 2. then x must be more than 1 divided by 2 times cube root of 2. I don't want to have cube root in the denominator, that's why I will do slowly. x has to be more than 2 times cube root of 2. I will multiply numerator and denominator by special 1, cube, cube root, Of 4. And then this x will be more than numerator will be 1 times cube root of 4 will be just cube root of 4. In denominator I will have 2 times cube root of 2 times cube root of 4 I can write as cube root of 2 times 4. So cube root of 8 slowly. So then x is more than cube root of 4 divided by 2 times cube root of 8 is 2. So I know that x is more than cube root of 4 divided by 4. First inequality is solved. Then coming back to the second one here, log with base 2 of x is less than negative 1. I can write it as log with base 2 of x is less than log with base 2 of 1 half. This is negative 1, log with base 2 of 1 half. That's why x is less than 1 half. So I solved first two inequalities. x is less than 1 half and x is more than this. And I also need to solve one more inequality. T was more than zero. I will solve this one. T was more than zero. Or T was more than zero. So T is more than zero when log with base 2 of x is more than zero. So log of, with base 2 of x must be more than log with base 2 of 1 because that's log of base 2 of 1 is 0, so x is more than 1. That's why the answer for this problem will be x was more than cube root of 4 divided by 4 and less than 1 half, 
or x is more than 1. That's my answer. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to check my other math video problems and consider liking, sharing and subscribing.